Okay guys, welcome to Module 1. In this module, our expert will cover creating and connecting your ManyChat account. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. Okay guys, so let's get started with setting up a ManyChat account. First, go to the ManyChat website, then click the Get Started Free button. Then, sign in with Facebook and give ManyChat permission to access and manage your page. Please note that ManyChat only works for a Facebook page and not for a personal Facebook account. Now that you have connected your Facebook page to ManyChat, the dashboard should look like this. Now, let's set up our greeting message. On the dashboard, click the settings on the side menu. Then, type in your greeting text inside the text box. The greeting text is used to describe your business or let visitors know how your messenger bot can help them. You are limited to 160 characters but you can add emojis to make it more welcoming. Once you're happy with your greeting message, click Save. To preview your greeting text, click the link that says See How It Looks. A pop-up will appear and you'll see how it looks on a mobile screen. Remember to always check that it looks good on the mobile screen because a lot of your users will be interacting with your page using their phones. Now let's set up the welcome message. Go to automation on the side menu, then click welcome message. It should be the third one from the options. This is how the setup page looks like. At the top part, you have the option to disable and enable the welcome message. You have the option to preview and publish it. And then the three dots button at the end is for the option such as rename, duplicate, copy to another page, delete, and revert to publish. We haven't published our welcome message yet, so subscribers cannot see anything on their end. Now let's add our welcome message. Type your welcome message in the text box. Let's add a placeholder to personalize the message. To do this, click anywhere inside the box, then select the second icon from the gray bar that appears. It looks like two curly brackets with a dot inside. Make sure your cursor is in the right location inside the text box. Click the placeholder that you like to use and you'll see it appear highlighted in blue. To make your welcome message friendly, let's add emojis. Click anywhere inside the text box again, then select the smiley icon on the gray bar. Click the emoji that you like to use and it should appear in your message. Here are some popular emojis that you can use. The message automatically saves and a preview should be visible on the mobile screen on the right. Once done, click publish at the top right corner. This is the message your subscribers will see if they click the get started button or sends you a message for the first time. Now let's set up our default reply. Go to automation again, then click default reply. It should be the second one from the options. You should see a template message inside the text box. You can replace this message, then click anywhere outside the text box to save it. The default reply is sent when the bot doesn't know what to answer. For example, if there are no keyword matches, you can suggest your users to type a keyword or provide them a menu. Next, let's learn how to use keywords. Go to Automation, then click Keywords. It should be the fourth one from the options. Keywords are used to automate your bot replies when a user asks something. This is useful for commonly asked questions. The first function on this page is the active and inactive toggle switch. This shows which rule is currently being used. Next is the rule. The two default ones are the subscribe and unsubscribe rule. When a user sends the keyword start or subscribe, they will receive the subscribe to bot message as a reply. Then, as an additional action, they will be subscribed to your bot. The second one is the unsubscribe rule. 
When the user sends the keyword stop or unsubscribe, they will receive the unsubscribe from the bot message and no action is necessary to be set since they have already unsubscribed. Now let's add our own keyword. Click the add new keyword at the top right corner, then type the keyword you want to use. Then click create keyword. Next, let's set up our automated reply. Click create new reply to compose a new message or select an existing one from the pre-made templates. Then click select this flow. If you want to change the rule, just click message is and you'll see the available rule. Message is only accepts keyword that are exactly specified. This rule is very strict. It's not case sensitive, but if there are additional letters, spaces, or symbols, then reply or actions will not be triggered. Message contains is more flexible. It can recognize keyword in sentences. Just be careful using short keywords that can be mistaken for the actual keyword that you want. Finally, you can also set additional action by selecting from the drop-down menu when you click the Add Action. If you want to delete an existing rule, click the bin on the right side. 